I'm Dr. George Ibrahim, and I like to discuss a topic that you don't hear about that often, but is extremely common amongst women. Bladder leakage caused by stress urinary incontinence affects millions of women in the United States. Now, it's been reported that up to 50% of women over the age of 40 have these symptoms, but in my experience, with over 30 years of practice as a Duke University urologist, oncologist, surgeon, and instructor, having treated thousands of women, I believe that that number is vastly underreported. Do you experience bladder leakage when you cough, laugh, sneeze, exercise, or bend over? If so, you, like millions, suffer from stress urinary incontinence, or SUI. Do you carry a change of clothes or extra panties when you leave the house just in case you have an accident? You having to wear black pants so that your leaks don't show? Have you resorted to wearing pads or liners as your only solution? Well, urologists are specialists who specifically treat urinary incontinence in both women and men. As a Duke University Associate Clinical Professor, I spent years teaching younger doctors how to manage this problem surgically. And while some of these surgeries, such as vaginal slings and mesh, did indeed work, they had their limitations and, of course, risks. And post-operative recovery could involve substantial amounts of time and pain. Now I'd like to discuss both the pubovaginal sling and the use of mesh as surgical treatments for incontinence. Both of these procedures involve placing a support between the vaginal wall and the urethra. This involves putting a woman to sleep or using a spinal block and then making an incision in the vagina. Once this is done, the surgeon develops a space between the vaginal wall and the urethra using methods that I'm not going to discuss in detail here. But we did this in order to place the mesh or the sling, which is made of abdominal fascia harvested from the lower muscle layers. Now, the sling is made from a piece of abdominal fascia that's harvested from some lower muscle layers. The pro of the sling is that the material is your body's own tissues, so it's not foreign. This means it's less likely to become infected or to erode into the bladder and egg. The cons of this are that another incision has to be made over the lower abdominal muscles where that tough covering or fascia is dissected away and cut into a strip that is attached, that is attached in the pelvis to support the lower bladder and urethra. Obviously, this is going to involve a lot of downtime and pain following the procedure as there's both an abdominal and vaginal incision that has undergone open surgery. With mesh, no other incision is needed to gather the supporting tissues, so only the vagina is incised, but this mesh is a foreign body and thus it can erode into the bladder later on or become infected and have to be removed. Obviously, why would anybody do this today? Well, really, only severe cases of SUI should even be addressed with surgery. In my opinion, and I'm no fan of insurance companies, if I were an insurance executive, I would not agree to pay for such a dangerous surgical procedure unless and if a woman fails the aforementioned safer procedures such as the O-Shot and Julia laser treatments. So, if you're thinking about a sling or mesh, stop, give us a call. If we don't think we can help, we're going to tell you. But if we can, you have nothing to lose. And if you've already had a sling or mesh and it's failing now, give us a call. There's still hope. We can still do both the O-Shot and the Juliet in patients having undergone those procedures. So please, contact us today. We can help you.